Creed Humphrey is here to set the tone. This young offensive lineman is a superstar on the inside. And after just one season in the league, he is already the best center in the NFL. Let's jump right into the tape. When you watch Creed Humphrey, one of the things you notice right off the bat is how much of a dominant run blocker this kid is. The way he moves people is really unique. And the way he is able to do this is by basically taking the proper angles with great leverage. Take this play right here against the Philadelphia Eagles. In this play, the Kansas City Chiefs are in a 2x2 two two gun formation with the running back to the left of the quarterback. At the same time, the Eagles are showing a light box playing two safeties deep. And when you look at the peer numbers, you have a five on six situation between the offensive lineman and the defensive lineman. So technically the Eagles do have the numbers on this play to defend the run. Of course, that is only if the run fits by the defensive line can hold up. And I oftentimes say this, it only takes one great offensive lineman to ruin your run fits. Here's what I mean. These run fits here rely heavily on your two eye aligned defensive tackle to hold his gap and not allow any overtaking by this center. If Humphrey is able to reach and seal off number 93, this play could hit for a major gain. Now, Williams does have the responsibility that if he does get double team, he has to make sure he gets upfield and reset the line of scrimmage. He has to force everything back to the inside to number 49, which is his support on the run fit. It is pivotal number 93 does his job here. Now, unfortunately for the Philadelphia Eagles, in this case specifically, Creed Humphrey is the center and he is so damn freaking good. And the defensive tackle found out that really quickly. Creed Humphrey is able to reach right and seal off Williams, which basically allowed Trey Smith, the guard, to get up to the linebacker number 50. And between the two guys doing this combo block on this defensive lineman and getting up to the linebacker, that allowed the running back to pick up over 15 yards. Creed Humphrey is a special talent. Because although this defensive tackle had one job, Creed Humphrey basically erased this poor defensive lineman. And you know what's the craziest part about this entire play? The Philadelphia Eagles really thought to themselves that if it wasn't Milton Williams and instead it was Fletcher Cox, we would have been able to get a stop on this play. In fact, a little bit later on in the game, this exact situation once again showed up. But this time, the Eagles had Fletcher Cox in in that two-eye aligned position. But does it matter when you're going up against Creed Humphrey? I mean, Fletcher Cox is technically an all-pro player, but Creed Humphrey is just better. Once again, Humphrey is going to overtake the defensive tackle, as you're going to see here from the end zone angle. Him and Trey Smith are going to double team down on Fletcher Cox. Smith is going to get off Cox and go up to the linebacker. All at the same time, Creed Humphrey is going to turn Fletcher Cox. And the running back hits the lane. Think how crazy it is that the Eagles really thought by having Cox in in this situation that they would be able to stop this play. They really thought they would have the advantage because Cox, an all-pro player, is going up against two rookies. Well, those two rookies may be the best center guard duo in the entire league. But it's really led by Creed Humphrey. Like, the guy is just a difference maker out there on the football field. Like, he is truly a weapon for the Kansas City Chiefs. He will seal off anyone given you have him reaching, you put him out in space, he'll run downfield, and he will lay a massive block as you've seen over and over and over again. And the craziest thing with Creed Humphrey is he just turned 23 years old. Like, the guy has Hall of Fame written all over him if he can just continue his dominance that he's currently on. Last year, Creed Humphrey was the highest ranked overall center by Pro Football Focus, and he was the second highest run blocker among every offensive lineman. And he played more snaps than any other center in the NFL. Now, with that being said, I do want to switch focus a little bit and talk about Creed Humphrey's mental processing, because in my opinion, in order for an offensive lineman to be the best at any given position, he has to be able to process and see the field well. And when you analyze this play, it kind of shows you how great Humphrey is at analyzing and processing. Now on this play, KJ Wright is going to show blitz. Creed Humphrey understands that KJ Wright is the hot read. He has to pop out of his stance and get his eyes to Wright and really find him. But as soon as the play begins, you're going to see KJ Wright drops off and instead is Divine Diablo that comes on a blitz. Both the defensive tackle and defensive end are going to slant hard to the outside. And Devon Diablo is going to try to come to the inside of Trey Smith, the right guard. And Creed Humphrey processes all this within one and a half seconds, switches focus from KJ Wright to Divine Diablo during a live play and picks up Divine Diablo. What Creed Humphrey just did on tape is not normal. It is not normal for a rookie center to be able to process and see these type of things and pick them up. I mean, defensive coaches spend all week prepping and preparing these type of blitzes to trick centers and guards and figure out new ways to attack the offensive lineman. But when it comes to Creed Humphrey, he pretty much just shuts things down. 
I mean, check this next play out right here. Within one and a half seconds, the defensive line shifts to the right. Another one and a half second, the linebacker jumps into the A gap. And in another one and a half second, the ball gets snapped and Creed Humphrey reads, process, and picks up the entire situation of what just happened in front of him. And the running back had a nice little lane right here. Having a great center like Humphrey could not be understated to how great it could make an offensive line. I would not be surprised if the Kansas City Chiefs have one of the best offensive lines in the league this year. Especially if Andrew Wiley or the rookie can step up at the right tackle position. Now overall, Creed Humphrey's a fantastic offensive lineman. Pass blocking, he does a great job because he can read and process. He can pick up defensive line games. At the same time, you know, sometimes players love to use their hands to beat offensive linemen. Cameron Hayward is a perfect example of that as he's going to swap down Humphrey's hands. And Humphrey just readjusts and isn't off balance or anything and just does a great job shutting Hayward down. On an overall level, Creed Humphrey is the type of player you want in the middle of your offensive line. He is a captain. He is an alpha. He is the type of player that you want to get behind because he will pick people up and make them better. The Kansas City Chiefs drafting Creed Humphrey was easily the steal of the 2021 NFL Draft. To wrap the video up, I do want to state this. Creed Humphrey, in my eyes, is already the best offensive center in the entire league. and It's not close. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time with another video.